Many Countrymen Review Our Rating 4 Star The 2017 Many Countrymen is bigger, more efficient, and more high-tech than the last model, but is it better as a result? 4. Mature Driving Experience, More Spacious and Practical, Upmarket Interior Against Can Get Expensive, Divisive Styling, Ride a Bit Firm the Mini Countryman is a car that enthusiasts love to hate but buyers can't get enough of them. The first generation car was getting on a bit yet still selling well, so this new model is expected to prove popular as the crossover boom continues. Like the Mini Hatch and Clubman Estate, the latest Countryman is bigger and more expensive than before. It's also more spacious inside, now proving to be a truly practical family car, while interior quality has taken a significant step up. It drives well, too sacrificing some of the enjoyment of smaller minis for a grown-up and refined driving experience. It all means the Countryman is easier than ever to recommend but much will hinge on whether you love or hate the new styling. Our choice. Many Countryman Cooper D. Those of a certain age may remember the first time many used the Countryman name. Way before BMW had any involvement in the brand, the original Austin Mini Countryman was actually a small estate. That estate body steel now gets the Clubman moniker instead, so the reborn Mini brand brought Countryman back in 2010 to slap onto its compact crossover. Back then, the crossover SUV was still a fresh idea, and Mini only had to compete with the Nissan Juke and Skoda Yeti. Nowadays, Almost every major brand has a competitor in the market, so many has had to pull out all of the stops for the second generation car. The exterior look has evolved, while the new car is wider and longer, but no taller, than before. It sits on the newest UKL2 platform architecture found underneath cars like the latest Clubman and the BMW X1. There's a comprehensive range, with the entry-level petrol Cooper using a 1.5-liter three-cylinder turbo petrol and the Cooper D using a 2.0-liter four-cylinder diesel. There's also a warm hatch Cooper S using a 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbo petrol engine, while those after hot hatch baiting performance will want the more powerful John Cooper Works version. Later in 2017, a frugal plug-in hybrid model will be offered for the first time, too. In typical Mini fashion, the brand expects the vast majority of people to delve into the vast array of customization and equipment options. That'll boost the price tag considerably, but at least standard equipment is better than it used to be. Like BMW's models, every countryman now gets set NAV as standard, while Bluetooth, Aircon and Autonomous City Braking are also thrown in. If you want to, you can still add several thousand pounds to the list price without trying too hard. Engines, Performance, and Drive 3.9 Star The Countryman's ride is quite firm, but in handling and refinement terms it's up with the class best. Cooper D is our range choice. Mini has built a reputation over the last 16 years for building fun to drive small cars, but as larger and more practical models arrive they threaten to erode the agile feel on the road. Thankfully, the Countryman still has plenty of mini DNA in the driving experience. The wider track means the handling is very sure-footed and composed. There's plenty of grip, even on lesser models, and the Mini is keen to turn into corners with its sharp, direct steering. Even the gearshift operates with the well-oiled precision typical of a BMW Group model. It's not as fun or engaging to drive as smaller minis by any means, but by the standards of the crossover class it's very good, giving the Mazda CX-3 a run for its money. Happily, Mini has also managed to match composed handling with mature cruising ability. The ride is a bit firm at times, particularly on models with larger wheels, as potholes and torn surfaces unsettle the car. Vertical movements are evident at higher speeds, but the Countryman is never too uncomfortable thanks to good damping.
Optional dynamic damper control allows this to be adjusted according to the road surface and the driver's preference. Despite some tire roar on bad surfaces, the Countryman is among the more refined cars in its class, with excellent isolation from wind and engine noise. Visibility is okay, and it's easy to place the corners of the car when maneuvering and parking. Engines The Countryman's engine range at launch is very simple. For now, there isn't an entry-level one model aimed at fleet users, so the base models are the Cooper Petrol and Cooper D Diesel. Buyers can choose from a 6-speed manual gearbox, and a 6- or 8-speed automatic gearbox depending on the model. The Cooper uses the same 1.5-liter 3-cylinder turbo petrol engine found in the Mini Hatch and Clubman. We've yet to try it, though with 134 bhp and a decent 220 nm of torque it should prove a characterful offering. It could well start to struggle if loaded with kids and luggage, though, particularly as the Countryman isn't all that light. The Cooper D should prove to be the best choice as a result. It uses a 2.0-liter four-cylinder diesel engine producing 148 bhp and a healthy 330 nm of torque. It's both punchy and flexible, with a decent turn of pace and a willingness to rev that you don't often see in diesels. It's also very refined, never getting raucous or clattery once warmed up. Buyers can also choose from the warmer Cooper S and Cooper SD. The former uses a 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbo petrol engine producing 189 bhp and 280 nm of torque, though while it's smooth and torquey it doesn't really live up to the brief of being a hot crossover. Outright performance is adequate but not sparkling. The diesel Cooper SD will probably be a better bet, with a similar 187 bhp power output but a chunky 400 nm of torque. Later on in 2017 there will also be the option of a fast John Cooper Works version with 231 bhp, and a Countryman Cooper SE is just around the corner with petrol-electric hybrid power. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4 Star the Countryman is competitive across the board for running costs, justifying its high purchase price. Modern minis are about paying a little bit extra for the increased desirability and quality. As such, the Countryman isn't exactly the cheapest small crossover to buy, but at least it shouldn't prove costly to run. The most economical Countryman is, unsurprisingly, the Cooper D. Its claimed fuel economy figure of 65.7 mpg is very good, especially given the slower Audi Q2 1.6 TDI only manages 64.2 mpg. Similarly, CO2 emissions of 113g slash km are strong, putting the countryman in the 22 percenter tax bracket for higher earning benefit in kind ratings. The Cooper SD doesn't fare much worse, managing a claimed 61.4 mpg combined and emitting as little as 121 g slash km. However, both of the diesels suffer at the pumps if you opt for the ALL4 four-wheel drive variants, with the Cooper D managing 58.9 mpg and the Cooper SD managing 57.6 mpg. If petrol power is a must, you shouldn't be too disappointed with the base Cooper's combined economy figure of 51.4 mpg although that may be tricky to achieve in the real world. CO2 emissions of 126 g slash km are reasonable, but roughly on a PAR with a more powerful 1.4 TSI Audi Q2. The Cooper S claims up to 47.1 mpg with an 8-speed automatic gearbox, though again that figure drops if you spec four-wheel drive. Insurance Groups Many hasn't announced insurance groups for the new countrymen yet, but expect them to be roughly in line with the outgoing models, which started at Group 12 and rose to Group 28. Depreciation The Mini Countryman is predicted to hold on to 48% of its value after three years, on average. That's slightly down on an Audi Q2, but better than a number of similarly priced crossovers. It means a Cooper D will be worth roughly £11,750 after three years of regular use. 
Interior, Design, and Technology. 3.9 Star The countryman's exterior look is divisive, but the attention to detail in the interior is impressive, while quality and tech are both top-notch. Given that minis are designed to appeal to more fashion-conscious buyers, the countryman has to look good. While this is subjective, the bulkier countryman MK2 appears to push the brand's design language to its limit. The front-end design, with its gaping front grille and bulbous headlamps, looks a bit awkward, while the squared-off rear isn't much better. At least there's neat LED running lights, with full LED lights on the options list, while rugged crossover styling traits like the plastic lower body cladding and roof rails give it presence. Still, chances are that if you like the outgoing countryman styling, you'll still like this. Inside, things are less controversial. The design is typical mini, with overstyled yet neat touches like the huge circular display and chrome toggle switches. Many removed the central speedo and used traditional dials ahead of the driver, while the crisp new central display is now surrounded by multicolor LED lights. These change hue according to speed, settings and display modes. Quality is largely excellent, too. The materials for the seats feel classy, while a mixture of soft-touch plastics on the dash and fabric trim on the door pulls lifts the ambience. Glossy black trim on the dashboard feels solid and looks upmarket, too. Delve into the huge options list and you'll find ambient lighting packs, which light up the cup holders, door handles and even shimmer through the black dash inlays in whichever color you desire. You can spend thousands specking up a mini with all sorts of customization choices, but the standard models are reasonably well equipped, a Cooper spec countryman gets sat NAV, a DAB radio, cruise control, parking sensors, and Bluetooth as standard. The 2,980 pounds chili pack might look pricey, but it adds adaptive LED lights, heated seats, climate control, and 17-inch wheels, while we'd also look to spec the upgraded media system. Sat-nav, stereo, and infotainment. The standard infotainment system is a 6.5-inch color display with SAT NAV including European mapping, DAB digital radio and Bluetooth connectivity. For a 950 pounds fee, however, you can upgrade to Mini's new 8.8-inch XL infotainment system that now features touchscreen capability for the first time. However, it still retains the neat scroll wheel and buttons down by the handbrake, which are very intuitive and easy to use. The display itself is high resolution and moves through the menus speedily, while you also get a neat head-up display included in the media pack. Disappointingly, there's no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto integration yet, although Mini's connected app offers some services. There's also wireless smartphone charging available. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 4.1 Star the larger size means more space for passengers and luggage, and makes the Countryman a genuine small SUV. The new Countryman is larger in almost every dimension than the old car, so it's unsurprising that space increases inside. Leg and headroom for rear seat occupants is on a PAR with rivals like the Audi Q2, meaning four adults can travel long distances in decent comfort. There are ISOFIX points aplenty for child seat mounting, too. The 450-liter boot is genuinely practical. There's some clever new kit on the options list, with the 850 pounds activity pack adding sliding and reclining rear seats to either maximize boot space or seat room. You can also spec a 10-liter larger fuel tank to increase the range, while an electric tailgate and even a picnic cushion that folds out of the boot floor can be added as options. Size the Mini Countryman is 4.3 m long, 1.82 m wide and 1.56 m tall. That's 20 cm longer and 3 cm wider than the previous car, although the height hasn't increased. That has the effect of making the Countryman look more squat and purposeful while also benefiting passenger room. Legroom, headroom, and passenger space. 
Many has extended the wheelbase of the Countryman by 75 mm, which benefits rear legroom and means two adults will be comfortable in the back for longer journeys. 5 is a bit of a squeeze, though, thanks to the large transmission tunnel and sculpted seats, despite the increased cabin width. Boot The outgoing Countryman's boot is a reasonable 350 liters, but the new model's increased size sees that jump to an impressive 450 liters that's 20 liters more than a Nissan Qashqai. It also extends to 1,390 liters with the seats folded, while the chairs can split 40-20-40 for increased versatility. That means this is a genuinely practical Mini, rivaling the Clubman for outright space. Reliability and Safety 3.6 Star There's a wealth of safety kit as standard, which should stand the Countryman in good stead, although the brand's reliability record should be better. The latest Countryman is too new to have been tested by Euro NCAP, but a strong active safety equipment tally means we would expect a good rating when it does come under the microscope. Both collision warning and autonomous braking at city speeds are standard fitment across the range, while there is an 810 pounds driving assistant pack, which brings adaptive cruise control and pedestrian detection. Like the Clubman, Lane Keep Assist isn't available, which contributed to the estate dropping a star in its Euro NCAP rating overall the same could be true for the Countryman. Still, there's a wealth of airbags as standard, and we'd be surprised if it didn't score well for occupant protection. Reliability could be a cause for concern, however. Many finished a disappointing 29th out of 32 manufacturers in our 2016 driver power survey and while the Countryman is too new to feature, the regular Mini hatch sat in a lackluster 147th place for reliability. That's despite BMW's expertise with most of the mechanicals and electrics. Hopefully the brand can improve this rating. Warranty There are three stages to Mini's warranty policy. The most basic coverage is called driveline and covers the main engine, transmission, and drivetrain components. The next step is called named component and includes mechanical and electrical breakdown coverage for a wide range of the vehicle's components. Comprehensive cover is Mini's highest level of protection, covering the majority of components on the car. All packages offer a typical 3-year-60,000 mile cover, though that can be extended to 5 years and 100,000 miles. Servicing Mini's familiar TLC servicing package is available with the Countryman. It's expected to cost around £399, and covers all servicing costs for 5 years or 50,000 miles, whichever comes first. For a further 3 years or 30,000 miles of cover, you can splash out another 275 pounds, while both packages can be bundled in with the initial cost of the car to save on running costs.